Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here at the Maiz Maze of GM Farms in Livermore, California. <laughs> oh. Hey there you guys, today I have a, a different video than usual. This is not a travel video. Instead, we're here visiting GM Farms in Livermore. It's basically a pumpkin farm uh, where a lot of people come here to take pictures. There's activities for kids and there's also a corn maze. My friend brought me here with a few of her friends. So we're gonna see what it's all about. thing we're doing is visiting the maze and as you can see they gave us like a little picture here where it shows you kind of how big it is and, and how complicated look at this I think we're here right at the entrance of the maze they have a lot of rules here I don't know some of them sound like like common sense like why would someone be like drinking or smoking the freaking maze but I guess they put the rules for a reason thank you this is what you need in order to go in uh, this is the, the entrance, this is the very beginning. We're about to start this thing, you guys. That's the entrance right there. See you guys soon. It feels like you're in a jungle of corn. Honestly, in your head, you picture yourself like being so like alone and like scared. But there's like so many people that it's just like, bro, I think we're, we're all going through this together. <laughs> Whoa, I, I guess you can get like a cool view from the top of this little staircase. Let's check it out. Oh, this looks amazing. Check it out. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. I guess from the picture you can tell, but look at that. Like, it goes all the way over there. And that over there is where we started. I believe this thing right here is the bridge where we were just right now. So we just have to continue walking this way and follow the path just like that so to keep this uh, as engaging as possible they have like little plaques around here it's like little trivia so when you answer the the, the question correctly it gives you hints as to where you're supposed to go so that's pretty cool so the question was what do all living things need to survive and some of the options were iphone tv and water and obviously we picked the iphone because nobody can live without their phone I hope we made the right decision. I think we're going on the wrong way. So we decided not to follow the map so that it could be harder for us. I don't know if we're going in the right direction. We found another plaque right here. A we're trying to, trying to figure it out. I think now we're just going in circles, you guys. We went on the right direction, but somehow we ended up in like this loop and it just looks like dead ends. This thing right here <laughs> looks like someone took a big old bite. Maybe they got lost, they needed something to eat, and they were like, well, this will do for now. Savages. We're making progress, you guys. But check this out. Isn't it cool? I think this area right here could be one of those mid sections that they have like a silhouette of a character or something. It looks big enough. We just made it to the exit. Check it out, you guys. That was actually just the first half, you guys. If you turn right here, you'll see that there's the beginning of the second half. And as soon as we go through this one, we would have completed the entire maze. Challenge accepted. think we found one of the last oh, no, trivia questions so hopefully this one takes us home you guys i think we just found the exit guys so the second half of this maze has been conquered we made it and we lost 
only two people. It was really windy, so much sand flying in the air, my mouth is like full of it. But it's really fun, it was a really fun experience. If you ever have the chance to swing by here, you can't miss it. So the next thing we're gonna do, you guys, is visit the pumpkin patch that we saw at the beginning. We didn't wanna waste so much time here because we're just gonna take pictures. So we went to the maze that is over there, but now, we are here and these are all the pumpkins as far as the eye can see here are the carts that you can use if you're planning on buying pumpkins but if you don't of course you don't need any of that you just need to go walk and look at the pumpkins so what i've seen is that they just have the pumpkins laid out on the ground in like different rows and i've seen about like seven or eight as far as i can see and uh, people just go around in their little cars and they pick up the pumpkins that they uh, like the most. Um, it's a really like family friendly place I would say. I see a lot of kids playing around, I see a lot of parents just chilling with them, relaxing and of course choosing the pumpkins that they're gonna use to cook, to carve or for whatever it is that they're gonna use them for. You can also go on the cow train. This is only for the thrill seekers. I think it's mostly for like parents and their kids but I guess anyone is welcome. In this section of the location, you'll find sort of like a pumpkin supermarket. They have all things pumpkin, including seeds and uh, pumpkins of different colors and types that you can imagine. We're going to the back section to see what we can find. We've seen some people with food and it started to smell like it. So let's see what we can find over here. So look at what we just found, you guys. This is like a pool made out of like mace and there's so many kids just playing there that's a lot of corn and over here in the back there's a section where little kids can go ahead and ride little ponies <laughs> definitely a cool and interesting place to bring the little kids in the back section over here you will see uh, little areas for kids to pet animals as well as like an area where they can ride little carts I think I've heard that there's a section for adults to write li like little cards but uh, I don't know where it is and they said that it, it usually has a long line. We're about to wrap it up here you guys. It's been fun but I think uh, it's time for lunch and uh, we couldn't find any good places to eat here and if we did find one it probably would take a long line so we're going out to get some dim sum. you guys I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day hopefully you guys enjoy the video and if you did make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this anyways you guys always remember to be kind have an open mind see you next time